At the beginning of 2021, I got this Ryobi 40 volt brushless mower, model RY401017. Been very pleased with it. It's a three in one. It can side discharge, it can rear discharge, and it can mulch. And so far, the only issue I've had is just finding a replacement blade. While the blade is listed as part number 656080003, the only place I could find it was at Home Light, and it wasn't available. After some back and forth with Ryobi, they informed me that the actual part number is AC040029, which I was able to find online at Home Depot. In this video, we're gonna go over the replacement of the lawnmower blade. Since safety is always important, I recommend wearing gloves, removing the battery from the mower. You will need a 15 millimeter socket, a torque wrench, and a piece of wood. You'll need to place the mower on its side, making sure that it doesn't fall over. Since we will be turning the fastener counterclockwise, you will need to place a piece of wood against the blade on the ground so that it does not turn while you're trying to loosen the fastener. With a 15 millimeter wrench or socket, turn counterclockwise until the fastener comes loose. It'll take about 30 foot-pounds to release the fastener. Once that is off, you have a rectangular piece of metal that comes off, then a piece of plastic. Note the orientation of each one. Then note how the blade is attached. There are two little points that stick out. One's rectangular, the other one is a half circle. So your blade will have to attach the same way. And note which side of the blade the cutting side is going up and on which side it's going down so that you can mount the new blade the same way. Here is our Ryobi 20 inch lawnmower replacement blade. This does not fit the other 20 inch Ryobi mowers. So do note that when you're looking for replacement blades for your different Ryobi mowers. It's got a little bit of blister material on it which we take off. And be careful because the blades are sharp and I would always recommend wearing gloves when you go to put this on your mower so that you don't get cut. Now, what I wanna show you is that they do include some instructions and you have the round circle, the half moon, and a rectangle, which matches up with what we have there. Also, the way we're gonna put this, the sharp blade is up on the right-hand side and down on the left, which corresponds to the way we took off the old blade. For installation, we place the blade on the mount, then attach our plastic, making sure that the edge is parallel with the blade. Then the piece of metal that goes over it. And then finally, the fastener. Before tightening down our fastener, we make sure that the inner plastic part fits over the blade and that this tab that goes over the edge is parallel with the blade. Then there's a similar one that's coming down here on this side and this piece of metal has to fit within that and this piece of metal will only fit one way, it won't fit cockeyed. So it's cut to drop in exactly the correct way. So this is what your installment should look like. Now we set the fastener to the specified torque, which is 310 to 360 inch pounds or 26 to 30 foot pounds. Again, you're gonna be wearing gloves. You're gonna place a piece of wood. We're gonna be going clockwise. So you wanna prop the wood in the opposite direction. Attach your torque wrench. And then torque until you hear the click on your particular wrench. And there we are 
at a specified 30. I decided to go to the high end since that'll ensure that that doesn't come loose throughout the mowing season. With the fastener torque, we're ready to get the mower upright, put in our battery, and start mowing. Can replacing the blade on your Ryobi lawnmower make a difference on battery life? Well, normally it takes one and a quarter of these batteries, these are six amp, to mow my lawn. Today, I did it in just half a battery. If you found this video interesting or useful, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, join the subscription team, and as always, thank you ever so much for watching.